to okay. my eyes. Okay. Uh, so I'm Jenny Sargent. I'm the managing director of First Draft. Uh, what is it, First Draft? So we're an organisation that uh, deals specifically in misinformation and disinformation that circulates online. Uh, we connect newsrooms around the world and we work also with universities, technologists, to see if we've got some common um, goals and a way that we can actually produce an active effort to try and combat disinformation in the lead up to the parliamentary elections. Right now we, considering, we were considering uh, the disinformation in context of European elections. What kind of threat do you see to the future European elections in May of this year? So one thing that we see, we do election projects around the world and we tend to see the same tactics and trends appearing. Um, one thing that we feel very strongly about is that previously the focus has already been on the politicians and the candidates and potentially any misinformation or propaganda that they would themselves be presenting. What we also know is that from unofficial sources, from activist groups, from independent people and just generally uh, conspiracies and rumours and falsehoods that can emerge online which have not come from official sources can actually be just as damaging and just as confusing and misleading for the voters. So we predict for the European parliamentary elections there's some very divisive issues and we want to help to try and put those into context and to explain where the threats genuinely are and where this is just potentially um, some people online who are trying to disrupt. What kind of people uh, have you gathered in here and why? And what is uh, the sense of all these uh, uh, training and learning? So where we know the most important work can be done is when we bring different people from different disciplines together. So obviously for the last two years we have had many conversations around the threat of disinformation and we know that the journalists are doing brilliant work. There's also this kind of community of fact checkers who specifically are, are um, trained and very gifted in some of the challenges to help in this kind of online space. So we bring together the fact checking community, the journalists themselves, but also researchers, people from the technology um, industry who can bring their, their technical ex expertise, data scientists who can help us to really map these networks and see whether the threat is, is as broad as we think it might be. So the purpose of today's meeting uh, is to bring all those people together and to share that knowledge and some ideas. How do you feel? Uh, will the future elections be success? That will the elections be a success? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, I believe very strongly that this is one of the most important votes um, and that actually my hope is that the voter turnout um, is considerable. I, I think people want to be informed and need to be informed because also there is so much confusion. Uh, so I believe how you measure success would be whether there are there is input and a public awareness of the importance of voting. So I hope so. Thank you so much and I wish you all the best. Thank you.